Hi, my name is Reese Lavasser. I'm 29 years old, and this is my 1996 Toyota Mark II JZX100. I've had this car for about six years now. When I first got the car, it didn't actually need very much. Within about a year, stuff started kind of failing on me. It was simple stuff like the, uh, the coilovers blew out and it ended up just riding on spring. Because the car started as an automatic, uh, it had the open diff in it, and as soon as the brand new coilovers went in and I solidified that, it showed the weakness in the open diff, and it just basically progressed from there. Believe it or not, I ended up finding this car on Kijiji. And I literally only fired in Toyota, rear wheel drive, and turbo. And the first thing that came up was this thing. I almost had no idea what this car actually was. I had only actually known what even a chaser was for maybe two weeks tops. My very first car was a 1997, I like to call it an Aston Martin Green, uh, Chevy S10. Well, she, she sees as much road time as I can physically get her to. It has never left me stranded. It has always gotten me home. Myself and my roommate, uh, we, we turn all wrenches. The engine rebuild I did last year, that was, uh, that was a big learning step for me. A lot of swearing going on. I, uh, I honestly enjoyed every moment of it. Lately, a lot more people know what these cars are and they've come to the light now. Uh, it's kind of funny, a lot of people will still refer to the car as a chaser, um, although that there is the, the three X chassis that have been around since the uh, 60s, I believe. The Chaser, the Mark II, and the Cresta. So I will always refer to this as a Mark II. I usually just call it a JZX100. Probably within the first few months of owning this thing actually was I screened off the, uh, the body kit here because I, I took a rock off of a truck on the Hende and I almost lost my intercooler because of it. The, the headlights are definitely showing their wear. Their pressure clips, as soon as they go, as soon as you take the light out for the first time, they're ruined and it refuses to stay in. We uh, have damage as we do and uh, being a Japanese car, the proper way to fix it is uh, zip tie stitches. Well, my paint, it's definitely showing its age. Uh, this whole bumper, the clear coat's gone and the paint's starting to come away. The two-tone is one of my favorite things about it. Windscreen, which I already have a huge crack in, um, is incredibly difficult to source. And anytime I've looked, there you're talking thousands of dollars for, for a windshield, actually. So I'm dreading that day. Uh, they're called hot stuffs. And I've got about a nine on the rear and about an eight on the front. KTS coilovers, four corners, um, running factory arms, uh, upgraded ball joints and bushings, just the Mugen basically uh, OEM replacements. I like to refer to this as my office. Um, starting with the obvious, uh, I have a suede D&D steering wheel with the purple stripe to match my purple theme going on here. I have Takata harnesses, but I do not have a bucket seat. And after throwing in the harnesses and running the car, I realized I didn't quite need a bucket seat yet. So that's just kind of been put on the back burner for now. I have fuel pump switch, we have an interior light switch, rad fan switch, and well, actually this one doesn't actually do anything at the moment, but I am uh, have it open for when I need it. Um, other than that, it's basically a factory interior, 2.5 liter inline six turbo, uh, 1JZ VVTi. I'm still currently running the factory CT15 turbo, oversized Gretti intercooler with Gretti intercooler piping. I have a turbo smart manual boost controller, HKS pod filter, ultra rare, uh, HKS Tokyo series carbon fiber strut tower bar. Function. Coilovers. That would be a JZX100 Mark II. The original. Toyota Supra. I feel, I feel the Skyline is overrated for how much they cost. Like, they're not worth that much. Like, what are you guys smoking? Like, the Honda Civics, I would say. 
Probably not. If it does, very little. Questionable in my mind. Time will tell. The Toyota Supra, the second best I would say is the Nissan Skyline. Thirdly, I would go with the FDR X7, and fourth would be the NSX for me. Uh, Pontiac Aztec. The second is the PT Cruiser. Third, I would say, is the smart car, and the least shitty of them all, I think, is probably the Prius. The usual basics of just generally buying a car, your suspensions, um, Timing belts, uh, cooling flushes, diff changes, fluids, I guess you could round that into saying. Obviously, depending on how many K are on the car, you're looking at has the suspension been changed? Uh, if you're over 100,000 on the engine, has the timing belt been done? Um, one thing for sure, uh, I would definitely be looking at the oil pan. Uh, mine's been leaking since I bought it, so I can't say if that's just mine specifically or all of them. The factory 1JZ water pump, it's a weaker point to the 1JZ. Um, a lot of people, including myself, just end up going to the 2JZ water pump, which is a completely metal pump, including the fans and shaft, uh, which is the fail point on the OEM 1J ones with plastic fans. It's a pretty solid car. It's, you're, you're pretty safe, unless you're looking at an Abizu spec uh, JZX100 that you know has been literally beaten to shit. It's probably going to be pretty good. When I bought this car uh, at its price, I basically stole it in comparison to the 25, 20, 25, 30 that these things are going for for today. I, I bought mine for less than 10 grand, easily less than 10 grand. Uh, and that was six years ago now.